Neenor, Neenor, Neenor! Welcome to Thomas the fucking Tank Engine, bitch! Sorry, boys and girls, I've been vacant. I've left the facilities. I've been sent to space by Elon Musk to conduct secret civilization tests. I've been the chosen one. I've been selected for abnormal injections and superpower potential. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm not really allowed to tell you this, but I'll let you know now. But I missed Donald Trump and Joe Biden, the two most intellectual people in the entire fucking universe. I can't believe I spent my time asleep while these two legends these absolute heroes of the nation were out here talking truth, facts, and absolutely spitting fucking bars. So if you don't know who this guy is, I call him um, Sleepy Joe. I think everyone calls him Sleepy Joe. I didn't create it myself, but Sleepy Joe is very sleepy, and nobody's ever home these days. This guy is on more drugs than a fucking racehorse, all right? This guy's getting injected at the bum crack with everything on the alphabetical list of drugs, all right? Just listen to this guy, yappy dappy waffy. Continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look. <laughs> You know, whatever you think about Donald Trump, he is fucking comedy gold, bro. Netflix need to bring out a special. Fuck Ricky Gervais, he's my favourite, but get Donald Trump on it. He should be a stand-up comedian. This guy's got facts and bars and he spits like fire, bro. But he's right there. Absolutely no one understood what Joe Biden just said there. He spoke absolute... <laughs> the border. Drugs. Where's my... Carrot. You know what I mean? Like, he's just an absolute... Mumbling muffin. And there's nothing wrong with mumble. I mumble. I stutter. It's nothing about that. You can't run the fucking country when you've got dementia. When you've got first stage Alzheimer's, they put you in a fucking hospital. They put you in a care home so you can be looked after. They don't give you the biggest job in the world. I mean, what? Imagine this. You you look on your CV and this is the guy. This is your boss. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. I'm, I'm so glad to interview. Yeah, what, um, what job are you, are you playing for? Oh, yeah, oh. Oh, am I the boss? Oh, I'm the boss. I run shit. No, he runs it down there. The guy, the secret guy downstairs, he runs it. Hmm. Russell Brand. Shout out to Russell Brand. I love Russell Brand. Absolute legend. He does scare me, though, with his videos. I've had to, sometimes I try not to look at the thumbnails because they terrify me about World War Three. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh you have to just feel bad for him. Like, I, I, you know, at the start, I was actually concerned because I do think Joe Biden, if he becomes president, will lead to World War Three. I think it's just inevitable. I'm not a nev. I'm not trying to not trying to scare you, kids. Settle down. But I just think he's not sensible. He has no interest in saving anything, and he's just ruining the country he's, he, he was born in. But just watching him makes me sad, mate. It makes me sad. Just put up the suit and tie and go into the retirement home, mate. Just give up. Quit. Like, I actually feel bad making this video and taking the piss. Like, I feel bad. Like, it's like beating a dead horse like this is an old disabled man i don't want to be laughing at him look if we finally beat medicare thank you president uh, biden president trump well he's right he did beat medicare he beat it to death and he's destroying medicare <laughs> Again, comedy fucking god, that was brilliant. How quick and snappy was that response? My god, I'm taking notes like he did be Medicare, he beat it to death. Like, <laughs> oh god, I can't control myself. I can't control myself. Now, the most interesting thing from this whole campaign debacle, this debate, was the fact that actually um, they both play golf. Now, Joe Biden can't even walk up the stairs to get to his plane. He can't even ride a cycle. We've all seen him fall over. And this guy's challenging Donald Trump, who spends 50, probably 60% of his entire life out putting balls into the green. Good ones. Good balls. President Biden. You can see he is six foot five and only 223 pounds. Or 20, 35 pounds. I mean, what's he on it? You know what I mean? Like, there's, I, I understand he's probably called you Sleepy Joe, but don't bring up the man's weight. You can't do that. You know what I mean? Like, all the fatties who are, you know, on your side are going to be like, well, if he becomes president, is he going to point out my weight and say, I should be less fat? Like, oh my God, oh my God. You know what I mean? It's just, but, like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, you said 6'4", 200. Well, anyway, that's it. You're, anyway. Anyway. Just take a look at what he says he is and take a look at what he is. Look, I'd be And happy. look at what you are, mate. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a Donald Trump fan. I think he's fucking hilarious. Okay, maybe I'm a secret stan of Donald Trump. But, you know, don't don't go so low. Like, you know he's losing when he says he's fat. And, well, I never said that. Oh, well, yeah, look at him. Just look at this type of guy. Like, look at you, mate. You, 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 if this was 2010, I would call you the R word. Happy to have a driving contest with him. The reason I got my... Oh, see... The
public driving contest with him. The reason I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. I'll play golf, but you got to carry your own bag. <laughs> Fuck, it's hot. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry, but I'm actually laughing so much. Like, imagine Joe Biden. All right, he should have gone fine. Can you carry yours though as well you know like fuck it's like that's fine i'll carry my bag do you think you can carry yours because i know for a fact joe biden can't even carry his own ears never mind a, a golf bag think you can do it that's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all i was an eight handicap yeah see he went from six to eight like this guy is deluded he's absolutely off his rocker he just went I had a six handicap. I'm, I'm not a golfer. I've gone to a driving rain a handful of times and I can hit a ball decent distance in no particular direction. It might end up going, you know, behind me sometimes. It's not won't be the first time. But you know, I had a six handicap. Oh, I had a I had an eight handicap. Eight but I have, you know how many how, I've seen you swing, I know you swing. <laughs> like, you know, this is probably one of the most important elections in the human race. In the human race. And you're telling me that you would rather discuss your handicap. I'll tell you what. You two are handicapped. Bang. Get me a job now. I'm a fucking genius. Did you hear that? I came up with that on my fucking own. Anyway, CNNNN fact check on tonight's high stakes debate. Like, we're not playing poker here, but let's go. He said he's the only president in a while who didn't have any troops dying anywhere in the world. Troops have, of course, died on his watch. He said he's put in a $15 per shot cap on insulin and Medicare. It's a $35 a month cap. He said it's a $200 cap on overall drug spending in Medicare. It's $2,000 a year. See, you know what I mean? It's like 200, 2,000. How, how can you lie? And the problem is people and CNN business, you know, uh, the average human being, the normal people, they won't know that. They will believe him and th believe that's true and they won't do their own research. He said the border now has fewer crossings than when Trump was in office. That's generally not true. He said or at least strongly... Genuinely not true. Genuinely. Generally. Generally not true. Whatever he said is not true at all. I've seen the videos, bruh. He suggested unemployment was at 15% when he took office. It was actually 6.4. He said... I mean, fuck it now. Just this bullshit central in it. How much can you lie? How much can you bullshit? Anyway, let's see uh, this great video Donald Trump released. Folks, how are you? Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if. Oh my fuck. It just gets worse and worse. We finally beat Medicare. We finally we finally providing housing for black Americans. The impact of on the the choice, the idea that they're gonna I'm not I am proposing that everybody they pay the millionaires pay one percent. One percent. So no one after uh, I've not raised the cost of social security. I mean what is he saying? them do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. <laughs> it's just sad. Who are you going to vote for? Let me know down below. Uh, who would I vote for? Well, I wouldn't vote for Joe Biden. I would probably vote... Um, no, I think I'd just leave the country, to be honest. You're telling me how you've got the biggest country in the world, or one of, and you're telling me they're the best two people you can come up with, hey? You certainly did beat Medicare. <laughs> Oh, I mean, this is just terrible, isn't it? The presidential debate was wild. This <laughs> That's a good one. I like that because it's two old farts who shouldn't be on the stage fighting. I mean, and you've got JFK Jr. I don't know about him, but I like I like him. I've, if you, you should watch his documentary, that's great. Uh, documentary is podcast with thingy i mean anyway we're gonna leave it there because fuck this shit but the debate the debacle what a waste of time you must be so embarrassed as an american to say this is what we're dealing with you've got two retirees battling it out for a throne where one can't even spell the american united states or whatever and donald trump who's donald trump you know it's ridiculous man anyway good luck america you are heading down the pan